Hello and welcome to Chimbo's Gaming, I am Scott and today I'll be taking a look at the JSOX HB0604 or if you prefer that JSOX dock with the SSD in it. Now this is my current setup and as you can see it's a bit of a mess. This is a wooden phone stand my friend kindly crafted me and I badly augmented it with a USB-C up and an NVMe enclosure. It's not particularly pleasing to the eye as you can see but it works. So if anything, this is going to cut down a lot of clutter on my desk. So first impressions, it's nice and sturdy. It's made of some very thick aluminium, it appears. It has two USB 3 Type A's, a HDMI, a RJ45 and a USB-C power delivery. But before you plug anything in, the first thing you're going to want to do is put in the SSD. So thankfully for me, who often changes around my SSDs in closures, this has a tool-free entry. So no messing about with screwdrivers. And even the mount for the SSD is a rubber pin insert. So here I will be using my Western Digital SN550, which I've used in previous tests on some of my other videos to keep my results consistent. You may have opted to buy one of these with the one terabyte or two terabyte drive pre-installed, so you don't have to do anything here if you have. And if you have a 64 gigabytes eMMMC spare, I do not recommend using it. As you could see on the video linked above, it doesn't seem to work very well in here. So anyway, my Western Digital Drive is now installed. All I need to do now is plug everything back in and plug it into the Steam Deck. And I am once again going to launch Ubuntu and do all my tests there like I have done in all my other videos. So this is an Ubuntu Live CD and I'm using discs with the built-in benchmark utility. And as you can see, it's already finished. I get a read speed of 850 and a write speed of 600, which is much faster than what I had on my makeshift dock. My makeshift dock only managed 500 and 500. I also wanted to check how fast the USB sockets were in the back of the dock, so I decided to take out the SSD and put it back into its original enclosure and test the hard drive from there. So this is the same hard drive in the back USB socket, and it does confirm that the USB is USB 3.2 Gen 2 X1, which is really ridiculously hard to say. Compared to internally, the read speeds are a little bit quicker and the write speeds are, well, quite a bit quicker, but it's not something I'm particularly concerned about. It is still quicker than USB 3.2 Gen 1, 1, X, 1 or whatever. And finally into SteamOS, and the first thing I'm going to do is run speedtest.net to see how fast my internet is through the RJ45 cable. And I can confirm that it's completely maxing out my internet with no issues so far seen with downloading games or anything else. Which compared to my Wi-Fi is, well, exactly the same. So at this point, you're probably wanting Steam to see your SSD in your shiny dock, and by default, that doesn't happen. So you're going to need to come to desktop. So by default, the Steam OS does not automatically mount external SSDs. Thankfully, I wrote some script to do this automatically, which you can get from my GitHub page. I will provide a link below. Jusox have also got a script based on my code, which is an older version of my code. I, I think my newer version is a little better. I am hoping they update theirs soon. I am looking forward to seeing what improvements they've done to it, and hopefully I can take those improvements and put it onto my GitHub as well. But quite simply, if you're willing to install it and you have read the code, as you should with any code you download from the internet, all you need to do is paste in this one-line curl and it will automatically install everything. You just need to click yes that you've read the instructions. Then you need to type in your pseudo password so it can copy to the relevant places. And then it will give you an option to install Z-mount, which is a manual way of mounting and unmounting external drives. To be honest, at the moment, it's more useful for unmounting things because at the moment, the auto mounts, auto mounts everything. But if you want to eject things, it is definitely useful to unmount them first. So you might find that handy as well, but it is completely optional. So I'm now back in game mode with the dock unplugged. I am going to plug the dock back in. And my SSD, which already has a Steam library folder, will automatically appear. My SSD is formatted to NTFS. This also works with EXT4. And to be honest, I haven't really tested it with any others, but those are the main two. If anyone's got any other formats that they want to test with, please do. Please send some pull requests if you wish. This will also work with any SSD or USB-C that you plug into the back of this dock, as long as it has a folder in there called Steam library, whether it's populated or not. 
if the SSD doesn't have a Steam library folder already there, even if it's one you've just created as a directory, then you will have to add one via Steam in desktop mode. And also, if you chose to install it, you will also see Z mount on your main screen of Steam. And if you click this and press play, you will then see all your hard drives that are mounted, except the internal drive. I didn't want to list those, but it also shows your SD card and any external hard drives. And then by highlighting one and clicking on mount, you can then unmount it. You will need your sudo password for this. Unfortunately, I couldn't work a way around that just because the auto mount does mount everything as root. So you will have to have a sudo password, unfortunately, but you can enter this via the on-screen keyboard, thankfully. But anyway, you might want to see some games working off here because I've heard a lot of people say that you can't game off an external drive. You can't game off NTFS. Well, here's Half-Life 2 installed on my NTFS external hard drive and I am going to launch it now and play it just as I would normally internally. Well, first I have to update it, but it works just fine, I can assure you. Now I don't own a 4K monitor, but I do own a 3440 by 1440, which runs at 75 Hertz and I can confirm it works with this. And even if you don't plug this into a TV, it is very nice just to use on its own in its dock for games like Overland, where you can basically play the entire game just with the touch screen. So I really like that. I do really like Overland. I don't like mobile phone games. So it's kind of strange that I, I, I like touch screen games. But this one, this one is definitely one to buy. It's a great game to use on the dock. Uh, also, oh, I forgot the name of it already. Organ Trail. Organ Trail is a good game to play with just as touch as well. So that, I'm going to be playing that as well in this dock. So I'm not sure if there's much left to say, to be honest. I mean, here it is. It's a, a premium product with a premium price tag. Uh, but once you've added up buying a USB-C hub, adding an enclosure and adding a stand to it, there's probably not a lot of difference in it. And like I say, it is a premium product and not everyone's going to want to have a SSD in the back of their dock. So you can always buy one of their other ones or you can wait for the official dock. It's up to you or do a makeshift one like I did. Um, but yeah, I like it. Uh, I am not making any money from this. I am not an affiliate. I am not got any referral links or anything like that. So I have no monetary incentive to make you buy this or not. And like I say, I will not provide any links to it. So you will have to make your own educated decisions and maybe have a look at some other, <laughs> other trusted places on the internet and make your decision there. Another script I wrote to disable the built-in Steam controllers when you have this docked so you can use your external controller right away without doing things that might be of interest to you. And I hope that's helped. Uh, it took a long time to get all that together. I've missed a few bits I wanted to cover, but I couldn't be bothered to get through it all. So thank you for watching and I will catch you maybe next time, if there is a next time. <laughs>